The latest Bond movie Spectre is a solid movie that, while entertaining, seems to fail on what I think is a somewhat shallow script. The movie tries hard to be the summary reboot of the Bond movies that introduced Daniel Craig to the series, but some of the action seems unbelievable and forced. For example, not to give any of the major plot elements away, but I noticed the action on the train seems borderline ridiculous, as in the train scene where Bond, his gal, and the villain meet, the characters appear to be the only ones on the train? Also, the last big action scene is not believable to be quite honest, in terms of ballistic capabilities of Bond's gun and the villain ending up at the foot of a London landmark? You have to wonder about the crew of villain Spectre employs in this film. It seems they are only good at kickboxing, as none seem to be able to shoot straight. Are they the gang who cannot shoot straight? Of course Bond is the only one who can hit moving targets and kill dozens of bad guys dressed in black. Oh, and Spectre's base in a crater? Looks like kind of an obvious building easily picked up on spy satellites. I was expecting to find it in a hollowed-out volcano? Furthermore, MI6's building is even in the movie as it has been in past Bond movies as a defunct building being torn down. It is not defunct by any means and you have to wonder why the British government has allowed it to be used in all things Bond movies as it has been attacked by terrorists in the past? The women in this movie are very good-looking to say the least. Monica Bellucci, at 51, is an amazingly beautiful woman, whose character Bond seduces in the film in a scene that is almost a liquor commercial. Leah Seydoux is a subtle and gorgeous woman who looks amazing in the scene she is in, as a somewhat pouty blonde. The opening credits for this movie are, IMHO, somewhat ridiculous. As this is a somewhat formulaic Bond movie, the credits portray the usual images of women and guns, but why is there a shirtless Daniel Craig? It comes off as similar to 1980s cologne commercial, a little over the top. However, this movie has some great elements in the plot and makes for interesting entertainment and is one of the better movies recently released. Two other movie releases from October have already been pulled from movie theaters after two weeks. So having a watchable movie this time of year is a blessing. This is kind of a meat and potatoes Bond movie with elements from all the Daniel Craig series and past Bond movies if you look closely enough. There is even a little white kitty cat to complete the reboot of the Bond movies. Update, here is a movie review of the film by Bing GPT Artificial Intelligence done on March 25, 2023. Here is a movie review of the 2015 film Spectre. Spectre is the 24th installment in the James Bond franchise and the fourth and final one starring Daniel Craig as the iconic spy. Directed by Sam Mendes, who also helmed the previous film Skyfall, Spectre follows Bond as he uncovers a secret organization that has ties to his past and threatens the future of global security. Along the way, he meets new allies and enemies, including the mysterious Madeline Swan, Leah Seydoux, the ruthless assassin Mr. Hanks, Dave Bautista, and the sinister mastermind behind Spectre, Ernst Stavro Blofeld, Christoph Waltz. Spectre is a visually stunning and action-packed film that pays homage to the classic Bond elements, such as exotic locations, gadgets, cars, and women. The opening sequence in Mexico City during the Day of the Dead Festival is a spectacular showcase of cinematography, choreography, and stunt work. The film also features some impressive set pieces, such as a car chase in Rome, a plane crash in Austria, and a train fight in Morocco. The musical score by Thomas Newman is effective and atmospheric, and the theme song by Sam Smith, Writings on the Wall, won an Oscar and a Golden Globe for Best Original Song. However, Spectre is not without its flaws. The film suffers from a bloated running time of 148 minutes, which makes it feel slow and uneven at times. The plot is also convoluted and predictable, relying on clichés and coincidences to connect the dots. The film tries to tie up all the loose ends from the previous Craig films, but in doing so, it undermines some of their impact and logic. The villain, Blofeld, is also disappointing, as he lacks charisma and motivation, 
and his reveal as Bond's foster brother is unnecessary and contrived. Spectre is a mixed bag of a film that delivers on some aspects but falls short on others. It is a fitting farewell for Craig's Bond, who has brought a darker and grittier edge to the role, but it also leaves room for improvement for his successor. Spectre is a decent addition to the Bond canon, but not a groundbreaking one.